There we go. Michael sent five dollars. Taboo bringing the egos back down. See, it's not about bringing anybody's ego down. What it's about is having a real conversation. It's about having a real conversation because if there are women who actually, it's about having a real conversation. If there are women who honestly believe that there's nothing wrong with them. I mean, we've had many people, we've had people in the pro-black community telling women that they're gods. And if there's nothing wrong, if you're infallible, that's cool. Why don't you? Hold on. Y'all peeped that? My boy Kevin. My boy Kevin got that Hermes bracelet. What? What? Damn. Oh, shit. A light went out. Yeah, my boy is styling. There, it was a pandemic for my boy. Listen, it, it wasn't a pandemic. Kevin Samuels had a pandemic. You're getting the results. Why don't you get any result that you want? Ladies, open. Here's a better question. How do we fix it? Many people can sit back and say, well, there's an issue, but the issue is not me. All right. How do we address it? Yes, you can call in if you want to. Miss J, oh, Lord have mercy. Here we go. Now, remember, I'll be nice to you if you're nice to me. What's she saying? I'm a PhD. I know. Uh, now, understand something, guys. When you guys call in, I'm going to ask you some questions, too. Ladies. I guess she's taking guys, too, around this time. I didn't know that. This is 2020, last year. What's going on? Jason. Yeah, how are you? Okay. Go ahead. First of all, I have to disagree with you. I don't think we fake it, but there were instances where... This is why Kevin don't like talking to me. After they get theirs, right? If you're a bachelor and you have the results of wearing condoms, you know, you don't feel the full effect, right? So after they get theirs, they get a little dry afterwards. But that's fine, because they got theirs already. We still trying to get ours. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about, boy? <laughs> oh, shit. This is why Kevin don't talk to men no more. God damn. Ladies, I have to make a service announcement. Ladies, I sincerely apologize to you for the type of men, the quality of men that are out here right here. This guy does not speak for all of us out here. I don't know what the fuck he came into this conversation talking about, but he started it off on the wrongest of feet, of, the wrongest foot ever, okay? Oh, and the thing behind me, this is somebody's Zoom background. I'm not, you know, I, and I'm a freaky deaky shit right there, okay? But anyways, this dude came in talking about a woman's pussy being dry because I have a condom on. Holy, holy! Shout out DJ Academics. Let's restart this shit. Let's let's go back. Maybe I'm missing something from what he said. I don't think we fake it, but there were instances where you know the pussy is trash. After they get theirs, right? If you're a bachelor and you have the results of wearing condoms, you know you don't feel the full effect, right? So after they get theirs, they get a little dry afterwards. But that's fine, because they got theirs already. We're still trying to get ours. And it's a little complicated, because you're not feeling a full effect. So after a certain time of just going and going and going, we do kind of kind of back out, pull out, and just like... How old are you? I'm 40. Look at me. I'm 40. I don't and know. I'm an electrician. I'm an electrician. Hold on, hold on. Your check, your, check your ego, bro. I just asked how old you were. That's all I did. Did you hear what I said about the Psychology Today study? Say again? Did you hear what I said about Psychology Today? The article from in college Psychology Today that one in four men surveyed said they faked it? Did, oh, you, hear, did you hear what I said? I didn't hear you okay. about the survey, but I did hear you say it about... All right. 
So yeah, I was faking it, and you was like, click the open a window and look at it. Okay, all right. So I, I guess that was my fault. I didn't understand that Kevin was talking about people faking their orgasms and shit like that. So I, I guess he did come in on the on the semi right foot. Yeah. So you may not agree, but it it has been well documented. Google it. Okay. Just, well, I. Okay, hold on. I just say from my experience. Well, that's fine. But disagreeing is saying from your experience you have not, but the data is there. How do you disagree with, how do you disagree because with scholarly work? Because explain to me, how can you fake it unless, you, and when is that easy for her to just look in a condom and say, oh, there's no semen in there. Unless you really take hold care on, of her. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How can a man fake having an orgasm? How many women do you know inspect? I mean, women typically inspect condoms. Yes. Here's, the, here's the bottom line. Yes. Here's the bottom line. I really they don't. Do that hold on, hold on. You're over talking me. Don't do that. Here's the bottom line. At 40 years old, um, I'll put up what psychology today and what all the scholarly work says against your opinion and my anecdotal experience. This isn't an argument. It's not an argument. You just say you disagree. Okay. Right, right. All right. I disagree. I'm not going to argue back and forth. Well, but That's asking me statement. about women and checking condoms and how do you, how can you verify if somebody faked it? I will trust that men surveyed told the truth. Just like you have your experience, they have theirs. Okay. Well, let me just clarify. Right, this I got to get on to nine there. more people out there. Thank you. Damn. I mean, like, okay, so I, I guess the topic when it comes to I don't know what the fuck that caller was calling in about. I, I really don't. I'm still confused myself. But I guess when it does come to, like, people fuck faking orgasms and shit like that, I mean, I've, I've, we've heard about it, right? I don't know. I, I don't I don't think I've ever experienced that. I think you faking an orgasm, it's like, why the fuck are you fucking somebody you don't want to fuck? You know what I'm saying? It is in my humble opinion that 40, 30, I would say, like, 35, 38 and above, every generation before Gen X have a trub a tough time expressing themselves with words. They they have a tough time expressing their emotions. They don't know how to articulate it. And they don't even know how to truly explain their experience in words that everyday people can grasp and okay, you I see what you're saying. I know where you're getting at. He just started off the conversation like sometimes the pushy pussy is trash. You know, they can take the the condom off and you know, they, they like it, but I don't like it, and it's dry. And I'm like, no. That's why Kevin's like, how old are you? What the fuck? How are you talking like this as a 40-year-old man, and, and you're supposed to be a leader? So I'm not going to lie. Like From what I said from the jump, yo, I do feel for women because these are the type of men out there that are older, you know? And the newer generation, guys, I feel, and like me, I feel like we... That and what I mean by we is, and I, is I mean people that are better that are able to express themselves and fucking communicate like a regular person. I think that is that's something that's is, is become a, a, a inherent skill that so many people of our generation, my generation, millennials and Gen Z are coming to this world equipped with. I think we are so look at this. This is where the snowflake liberal thing came from. Like snowflakes, I think that's the term that Gen X and boomers gave to. Entitled millennials and Gen Zs and Zennials and stuff like that, and it's because we're so much more open with our emotions. Which the world has become so much more emotional and shit like that, and it's got the pros and cons to it. But I can see why this. This is why Kevin don't talk to motherfuckers, men anymore.